So you let me know what you think about this. And I don't know why there's not more of this happening. And if, if, it, were, if it were me, if I owned a golf course, right, I would do this. Huh. I would try to do this. I would think I'll put a team together and look at this. Looking at Southern Hills and the PGA Championship, what a classic golf course, by the way. That place, I, ha I don't even really remember it from, what, 2007? But the way it looks now, the, the redesign, it's phenomenal. I love the layout, I love the look, I love the weird sand. That sand, it, that, that sand is kind of like the, the sand we're all used to on the, like our local muni courses. We don't get the good <laughs> fluffy sand. We get that, we get sand like that. So I think we, most amateurs kind of know how to, well, yeah, we know how to play out that sound, that sand. The pros, they get the white Augusta fluffy sand all every time, it's perfect. They don't get sand like this. This is, this is a poor man's sand, yet it's native to that area, so they brought it in. That's kind of a Gil Hans thing, It'd make the course look like it would normally look if it were natural. I love that, I love it. And that's how golf, in my opinion, should be. It should be all manufactured and just, you know, put together like some fantasy land golf course. Although they, those look beautiful, I, I like a more natural look to the game. And that's what Southern Hills is it's right now. And that layout is classic, kind of tee to green layout where you just walk up the green, there's a tee box. It's almost like you're teeing off on the green, which is cool too. So, but here's what I would do if I'm Southern Hills. And I would do it, let's say I'm Southern Hills, I do that, Pebble Beach, I would do it. A lot of these big time courses, why aren't there more courses that have their own tournament? Like, right? Like Augusta National has the Masters. That's them. That is not run by the PGA Tour. It's Augusta National puts that on and it became a major championship. Think about this. That's a major championship. A tournament put on by somebody other than the PGA Tour. What's the next major championship? Oh, that's the PGA Championship. That's not a PGA Tour tournament. That's a PGA of America tournament. And it is also the next major championship golf tournament. The next one is the US Open. That's put on by the USGA, the United States Golf Association, not the PGA Tour, right? It's put on by somebody else. And the other one is the Open Championship, again, not the PGA Tour. That's put on by the, what, the uh, RNA or whoever, right? It's, it's not from the PGA Tour. So the four majors are not PGA Tour events. Isn't that weird? Yet the, they work in, you know, with the PGA Tour to schedule these events so they don't compete with the PGA Tour schedule. Okay, and then you have the, um, Players' Championship, which is like the fifth major, but it's not a major that is put on by the PGA Tour. That's the PGA Tour, and every, and it's at the at TPC Sawgrass, right? All the TPC courses are owned by the PGA Tour. Those are PGA Tour owned courses. That's why they play a lot of events at the TPC courses: TPC Scottsdale, uh, the Byron Nelson, at TPC, TPC Craig Ranch. All these TPC courses are owned by the PGA Tour. And when the tour stops there, they're really promoting their golf course in their tour, right? You get the, you get the idea of what they're doing here. And, but the major championships are not PGA Tour events. So let's say you're Southern Hills and you get with your members and you say, hey, why don't we have our own tournament? See. The PGA Tour denied requests of players who wanted to play on the Live Golf Tour, the LIV, because they said it's not a one-off event. What it is is it's a competing tour, and they have at least eight events, so we're going to deny your request to play over there. Okay, fair enough. What if you request to play in, let's say, the Southern Hills Open Championship, if that's what they decided to name it? Well, now it's a one-off event event. So what do you do? Well, uh, it could conflict with a tour scheduled event and it most likely would because what the tour has done is they've made their tour basically year round. 
uh, minus some weeks kind of in uh, November, December. Other than that, it's pretty much year round. So if you had a tournament and you got whatever TV rights you wanted and you got sponsor from whoever you wanted sponsor from and you offered, let's say two, three million bucks for the winner because you want your own big giant tournament at your golf course. And then it's an open championship, kind of like the U S open, but you have your own, let's say Southern Hills open championship winner gets $3 million. And then the purse is X amount of money, which you could probably raise with your membership and the people they know and the connections and sponsorships and television rights or whatever rights you want. I'm, that's my question is why aren't more courses doing that? Why aren't more? Because what a beautiful event, what a great way to promote your facility, right? Not that Augusta national is looking for promotion of their golf course, but it's certainly like they're telling the world we're the best golf course in the world and we're going to prove it to you. And we're going to have the best tournament in the world. And we're going to prove it to you. And we're going to have the most exclusive membership. And that's what we do. And everything about that place is built for the greatest golf tournament in the world. And nobody's going to compete with that. Nobody's going to question that. My question is why aren't more places doing things like that? Because it's owned by whatever Augusta national, they do whatever they want. They do their own thing. Other courses could do stuff like that. Just think about Torrey Pines or Pebble beach or other phenomenal courses. They build it out in such a way that that's what it does. And then who's ever in that, let's say ownership group of that tournament or course has just, uh, they can do whatever they want to me, that would be special. And that would really, it wouldn't be a competing tour. It wouldn't compete against the PGA tour because the PGA tour still has a tour, but it would be these other individual events that come up every year that become like huge, huge golf events. Just watching Southern Hills, looking at that saying, man, that's a, that's a place that you would love to see every year to me that just looks like it and i it started getting me thinking why aren't there more courses doing that to promote their brand their own facility their own identity rather than just get it wrapped up like the pga tour stops at torrey pines and it's the pga tour and it showcases torrey pines golf course but why can't torrey pines just be its own thing I don't know. You let me know on that one. Maybe I'm way off base here, but to me, I think there should be more of that because then it, it just gives, it takes ownership back. To, if I'm, if I'm saying, if I own a golf course, that's where I'd want it to be. Like I, I want my own identity. I want to keep and create like when it's Augusta national, they're promoting their course, their masters, their tournaments, all their own logo. It's their own identity of everything. There's no PGA tour affiliation. So if I were a course, that's what I would want to do. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.